Hi, girls and boys. Today, we'll learn how to sort objects by color and size, and we'll see how it can be helpful in our everyday life. Hi, Eddie. Hello, everyone. What a cool hat you've got. <laughs> like a real farmer. Thank you. I need to pick some berries for dessert and vegetables for a stew. There are different berries here. How do I know which ones are ripe? Think of berries that are usually served for dessert. They are bright red and smell delicious. Right. I'll only pick the red berries that smell yummy. Let me see. I'll pick this one. And, nope, this one is green. Wow! Here's a ripe strawberry. And this... No, it should stay on the bed. I'll pick this one, and this one, and this one too. Now there are only green strawberries left on the bed. And all the red ones are in my basket. Great job, Eddie. We can say you have sorted these berries by color. They'll make a great dessert. Now I need to pick some nice squashes. Wow, there are so many different squashes here. They're all ripe, except for the green ones too, right? No, squashes don't change their color. But the riper ones are bigger in size. Got it. Then I'll collect the big squashes of any color. This yellow squash is so beautiful, but it's too small. Let it stay on the bed to get ripe. And this one is big. And even though it's green, I'll pick it for my vegetable stew. This squash is big, too. And I'll take this one. Awesome, Eddie. We can also say that you have just sorted the squashes by size. I've collected all the ripe strawberries and squashes. We'll make a great dinner from them. And we could do it because we know how to sort objects by color and size. Next time, we'll talk about sorting the same group of objects different ways. See you soon! Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.